hello welcome back to big Android. in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how you can connect a simple payment gateway in paystack with your with your laravel development so we are going to be using laravel development today to do that i've been i've been um, using core php i've been using python so a request come up on my youtube channel to give you support on laravel so in today's tutorial i'm going to be using laravel 8 uh, <clears throat> as you can see i'm currently running laravel 8 on my macbook pro so we'll be using laravel 8 to run this um to run this development okay before i get started let me run my server so at the moment this is my laravel so if i'm to connect with database though we are not using database but it is necessary you will make all those changes so let me start my server sorry let me start my server my php my admin then i can i can run the server for the laravel so let me start my um php my admin that is the mysql database on my apache <coughs> i also start my apache so let's wait for it to start it's currently starting yeah good my apache web server is running good and my mysql database is running though i don't need it for now but in the future we're going to need it just today solving um paystack payment gateway in laravel heat point two okay now let's get started so i'm going to be running my server now php artisan php artisan south yeah good my server is running on 127.0.018000 okay now let's take a look at that 127 good nice zone good now my laravel application has been loaded good so the next one we're going to do now is to move down to the developer area then we go to documentation developers then documentation then we click on accept payment accept payment so once we are in accept payment area just scroll down to the section where we have the html so the html tag we have here is what we're going to be using so let's just let's pick it up let's pick the html as simple as that let's pick the html then head over to our vs vs code where we have our laravel then we click on new resources view inside our view let's create a new view so let's take for an instance i want my um, payment to be done on payment page so i'm going to call this payment payment dot blade dot php good so in my payment dot blade dot php i'm going to have a default html tag html5 tag where we have my tie to as pay stack sorry pay stack pay stack payment pay stack payment for laravel laravel 8 so pay stack payment for laravel 8 now inside my body i'm going to drop the content i copied from pay stack website now here we copy the email address the amount the first name the last name so and as you can see the last one that we have here is our submit button so we have a submit button here that say pay with pay stack which is a method so this method is what we are going to define in the next in the next section so to do that we are going to scroll down and type script so this script inside this script we are going to write this method and place the function so let me let me copy this uh, this name and write the functions here function pay with pay stack so inside it uh, we are going to go back to pay stack and copy the function in order to use that so here we have const payment form get document by uh, id payment form so this is the payment form they are getting actually this payment form here so let's get our payment form so we say let 
payment form payment form equals to sorry equals to document dot get element document dot get element sorry document dot get element by id get element by id so which id are we getting we are getting this id payment form you can actually copy it from paystack without delaying you okay so we've done that so now here we have a, an event listener on submit appended to the payment form so we are going to do that also so let's take it from here without delaying ourselves so we copy that then we drop it down and we say payment dot add event listener that is whenever it whenever the user trigger on a submit button once they trigger the submit button this function is going to run this function here pay with pay stack is going to run yeah so that's what that means now pay with pay stack is now um is now passing a parameter of event so this parameter of event that is the element event itself the element event of the form because this form is the event that we'll be passing into this pay with pay stack so we are going to point the event which is e and we come down and say let this element um, prevent the default prevent the default uh, default behavior yeah so we are going to be preventing the default behavior with our javascript prevent default so prevent default oh i'm very correct as you can see we have prevent default over there okay good so we prevent the default behavior of the element that is on a norm whenever a user click on the form having submit type of button once you click this once you click the pay is going to reload the page but with this particular method we have added to the to the element now once a user click on pay the page is not going to reload so it's going to stand still just the way it is without reloading the page that's always that's it what we actually um, meant by this yeah okay now let's move on to the next one so inside the method we are going to copy this code and place it inside inside the pay with pay stack method so let's copy this code let's copy this code and place it inside the method so let me place it here okay sorry okay now here we have let's and la pay stack pop up set up now we pass in our public key we pass in our email we pass in our hammond so here we have document of get element by hide the email address dot value so email address is this our email address sorry this is our email address email address value so the same applies to the amount value so the amount times 100 that is converting it to um let's uh, let's take for an instance we have 1000 error 1000 error plus 20 giving it in a cobol format so on um, pay stack we we'll automatically know how they will multiply but multiply that in their conversion so it will be converted in naira and cobol format so that's why we have the 100 over here oh good so that's done so here we have on close function which that is if the user close the button then it stays allowed so windows close now in this particular place that we have here let message equals to payment complete reference blah 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 now this response reference this reference payment is what we're going to use is what we're going to use to make the payment check to make the payment verification in our laravel so i'm going to say let let um reference let reference equals to response dot reference now this are our references what we are going to use to to verify the payment to make a verification if the user actually pay the payment or if the user actually make the payment or not or there's an error during the transaction so we are we have here verify verify payment verify payment now we come down now in order to do this it will be very necessary for us to um make an ajax yeah an ajax request is what we're going to use in this particular place 
for the best uh, integration so I'm going to be picking a JAX CDN so let me tag a JAX CDN a JAX CDN good so it comes up here sorry yeah so let me copy it a JAX CDN so we go to the top we go to we go to the top of the code and placing our Ajax CDN. Good. Now our Ajax has been placed. So to make a better test, to make a test of what we have what of what we have done so far. So we are going to log the reference if it's actually working or not. So let me save this. Let me save this and head over to uh what is it called? Head over to our route and make a new route for our payment page make a new route for our payment page so i'm going to come here and say route get payment payment page sorry payment page so in my payment page because i'm using laravel heat so it's going to be in a class con in a class in the class controller method there's a way we define our class controller on laravel heat so at the moment we have we don't have the class so i have to go and define the class now so let's take for understand you're using a class so i'm going to open a new terminal and i'm going to define the class php artisan make controller make controller controller so payment payment page so controller payment page is what I'm um, is, is what I'm declaring. So make controller payment page. Now payment page controller has been created. So I'm going to come over to this place now and point to payment page controller. So I'm going to type payment page. My autocomplete is going to bring it up for me. So we specify it as a class. So inside the class, I will specify my I will specify my method. Ah, sorry, not index payment. Yeah, we can use index since it's payment page so my method is what is index so inside my payment page landing page landing method is my index so this index is not valid yet so <coughs> i'm going to go into my payment page and make the index valid sorry okay yes so let me delete this one here. sorry <laughs> okay nice one okay so once this is done i'm going to return the view of my uh, of my design the page you just designed just now so i'm going to return the view so i'm going to pick payment sorry i'm going to pick payment now inside my payment close the view and save good so now we save this also and we copy this url we copy the URL and head over to our Google Chrome, Laravel, then include the slash payment page. Okay, let's see if it's working. Nice one, nice one. It's working perfectly. Good. Now I'm going to pop up my um, inspection, my console, for me to get more details about the JavaScript. So I'll go to my console good my console has been loaded so sorry good this is my console 